Welcome back guys, this is going to be a short video, I hope I'm trying to teach you how I make music for GB Studio. It will be a very simple tutorial on setting up a, a file in OpenMPT uh, and also using an online uh, like chord piano thing to create the actual song and then I'll show you how it actually uh, is easily put into GB Studio. So first, I mean the template uh, that I've made into the tutorial for my other series and this has all of the uh, music in so if I if I if I type here play music um, it has all of the uh, music from the template right uh, so what what this means is that all of the music is already in the file so what we want to do now is uh, go into open mpt if you've never used it before you might want to look at other tutorials but uh it's pretty simple what i'm going to do is i'm going to do file open i'm just i'm going into my files and i'm finding exactly where i put um the the game so i can take one of the um the, the songs okay so i'm going into the tutorial uh or the template uh assets specifically for the game that I'm trying to put it into and I'm going into the music folder and I'm clicking any one of the songs and I'm going to open that so I've called I've opened up or I'm opening up rules battle theme so obviously the guy called rules and then this is the battle theme uh, and if we were to go into GB studio we could play it for ourselves and it would be fine um, but what I'm going to do is save this as something else i'm going to press save as and i'm going to call it tutorial music tutorial underscore music uh so now you've renamed it make sure you when you rename it like or what you're actually doing is saving it as so you're you've got the same thing but you've uh obviously called it something else and what this means is you've got all of the information uh to make it a gb studio song without having to set it all up yourself and that's this is how they work uh, how the creator wants you to make the music they want you to take a take you take the template or any song or whatever and then and then basically uh just delete everything and then and or like edit it right so now i've gone into patterns and what you can see here is there's four patterns and there's four channels if you go into the gb studio docs it tells you more about this so what what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go in and i'm just going to delete or can i remove pattern yeah remove pattern because we want to make this our own and we can even highlight all of this and hit delete and now this song is fresh okay so i'm in the gbstudio.dev slash docs and i want to go into music and this tells me all the information i need to know on making music it obviously has uh obviously it says you can use open mtt milky tracker but soon you might there's also probably more that you can use but uh f i this happened to be the one i downloaded first uh it might be the same one as you or it might not but this should um still work right because obviously these are the rules uh so i'll i'll just explain what each thing means right if we look at uh, channel one and two if i go back into uh open mpt that means it literally has channel one two and then there's three and four you have to understand that channel one and two are like the the most complex ones they have obviously they only have four sounds but they have a, a wider uh, range of volumes so you can more easily like gracefully go between the volumes channel three has a different set of um of uh instruments basically sounds um but it but it it kind of clicks between uh different volumes it goes up in tens rather than like twos uh and then channel four is the percussion which means you're only using note um c5 but there are different uh instruments in that c5 uh that you can use and the volume again is a bit it's a bit weird on this one it, it kind of it's a bit different but you'll you'll see it in the uh in the docs so uh if we go back into the docs we can 
that's about the uh yeah so you can also see the note range right so like i said uh, the the percussion is c5 while the rest is c3 to ba which is a very low c to a very high b um also has some effects i haven't used all of them before the main one is the uh, cutoff um which is the ec i think i'm not quite sure um yeah the volume limitations like i said this one obviously for two one two and four it goes up quite smoothly and then channel three is very uh see exact like zero ten twenty forty so yeah so here's the instruments so there's obviously four sounds in uh the one and two in channel three they have uh, eight to fifteen numbers and this all may all make sense in a second right um so here's some more information the this is this is quite important this is the uh the bpm so obviously if we take fo5 and we put it into um we put it into here we obviously you want to have it at the start and uh, we have to, might have to type it in f and then zero five and then that should be the bpm that it told us that it was i'll i'll try and keep it simple okay so we want three things we want a note and we can just type in a note we uh by clicking a, on the keyboard uh, in a random place um and that will give us the note and you you can see the keyboard turns into a keyboard basically a piano uh keyboard you want to set the instrument so if we set it to anywhere between one and four uh and then we also want to set the volume by pressing c in this one and then you can put anything you want here so if we copy this around but then change the note we should have music Okay, so as you can probably hear, when I'm clicking the note, it uh, it does it. And that's because I've got all three aspects. I've got the sound, I've got the note, I've got the instrument, and I've got the volume. And you need to know that the or everything is consistent. Like if you, if you were to silence it and then turn it back up, the note would still be there, okay? So I'll just press play and you'll see how it sounds. Okay, so obviously that can be quite annoying if that was that was it. Um, and I like to use um, I like to use this channel as my as my like uh, lead or sometimes yeah like my lead. And then this one is like the chord undertone. And then this is my bass. And then this is my percussion. Um, but I'll now show you how I so yeah. So now you've got this basic information right. Uh, this F is value is the uh, you know the BPM. You've got your notes. You can uh, put them all in different channels. I'll uh, I'll just show you. Uh, you. It's the same stuff each time, but obviously you need to remember that um, these are actually different. Um, these require different uh, instruments. Uh, but if I do say five, oh actually yeah, up an octave and then put these down an octave. We should have chords. And obviously you can see how this can easily turn into some great Game Boy music, right? Um, so now I will teach you how I make music. Basically the cheat way. Uh, this website here called onemotion.com forward slash chord uh, hyphen player, right? Uh, you can play chords. Uh, and then you can export them as MIDI files. And OpenMTP uses MIDI files. So you can import the the MIDI file and then just copy and paste the notes, the note values in sequence to give you a song. So the great thing about this is you, there's examples, right? Okay, how about Havana? <laughs> Great, so we want to load example, and then it should have it over here. I'll just press play and check. And this is, this, the great thing is, obviously it says it's custom, right? And what that means is, 
uh, it's got a sequence here, and the sequence is deliberately written down um, as the sequence of the song, obviously. Um, so obviously it has the same key, has everything. Um, obviously you can change everything about it. You can even record uh, yourself playing by using this melody thing and then pressing record. So you can do all of, all of it in here. You can then change the key or something, uh, you know, and it is nice and easy. But if we if we say export as MIDI file and press OK, just save it randomly. Okay, so now we're back in Open MPT. We can press Open, and we can open that file we saved. And if we give it a second, we'll see. Yeah, we'll have to press on Patterns to get the pattern, obviously. We can see, and we can press Play, and hear the pattern we just exported. Fantastic. So, um, what we now need to do is just basically copy and paste, but we will need to make changes. Okay. Um, I pressed X instead of C, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm pasting it here, and that is uh, one line, and then I'm going to take the first two lines from here to have like the root of a chord. And then I'm going to paste them here. Actually, is that correct? Did I take them from there? Yes, I did. I took them from zero. You have to make sure you paste it in the right place. Obviously, you can move it around, but uh, it saves you some hassle. Okay, so there we go. So if we press play, it probably is broken, but uh, we can hear it. Okay, great. So obviously I can already tell that this needs uh, to be cut off at the end. Um, so it doesn't, uh, it's not there when we start. So we press play and try that again. Obviously we need to increase the uh, BPM. So we are using FO5, which is 150. We want it to be faster, so we can use FO3. Let's just try FO3. We can turn it down if not. Okay, so I've set it to FO3. And I've also set uh, the volume to C0 instead of cutting it off because the cutting didn't uh, work very nicely. Obviously, I've still got the cuts here, but uh, it doesn't really matter when the, when the melody kind of keeps going. So if we press play, we can hear it. And that is obviously a loop that you could use in your song um, made extremely quickly. If we were to look back at this, we might want to properly analyze what makes the song like bounce and whatever. And we could even use, uh, in these gaps here, we could use this note. Um, but that's an artistic choice, obviously. And you could easily uh, slot it in and it might make the music sound a bit better with more full chords because currently it's not really a chord if there's only two notes, obviously, technically is. But yeah, so as you can see, really easy. You just have to know that there's a note, an instrument, and a sound, or a volume, sorry. Um, and it's all in, in the docs. Yeah, you can use this website to, um, to create your chords. Obviously, you can just choose a key, press record, and it will add in these things like here. Um, you can use custom stuff, or you can just use it as a foundation. But uh, either way, it, it makes life so much easier for coming up with things. Uh, the percussion, obviously, is a different, is a slightly different story. Like I said, you, it's always C5, and then you just have to change the instrument and the volume. Um, but that's basically how percussion works, right? Okay, guys. So make sure you save what you've done, and then you can, uh, because you've saved it in place. You can then bring it into GB Studio. Uh, it's always already here, right? You saved it in here. Okay, so obviously this is a uh, uh, example thing, but uh, we can already tell 
that we shouldn't be using, that we should have been using a different instrument in track three, right? Obviously, when I was showing you guys, I said that that this should have been a different value. So if we just choose eight and then save. Okay, so now, now it's in here, guys. You can listen to it. Yeah, so as you do your work, you can easily just save it and then press play. Okay, guys, so that is the music. That's how I did it. Um, obviously, you'll want to test things out, add chords, like slow things down sometimes. It, yeah, it, some, it'll be fun for you guys, though, because obviously um, I bet most of you didn't know of this uh, this website. And uh, it really helps to speed up your workflow, seeming as though everything is already here. You just it already it then puts it into MIDI format, which obviously is is or it open it puts it into OpenMPT, so you have it there, and you just copy and paste. You don't have to you know write it down on paper or, or like transpose it. It's all it's all there. It's all there for you. All you have to do is change the instrument, change the volume, make sure it's in the right track, and you've got your own song. So I really hope that helps, guys. Um, please leave any comments that you have uh, in the uh, comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if it helped you. And uh, I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching.